Hey you guys, I hope you're doing well. I am wearing my Stanton hoodie that I made from See You at Six um, French Terry. And I'm giving you a review of the Cashmere Stanton hoodie pattern. Now this pattern comes in sizes 12 to 32 and a C through H cup. And I am actually part of the Cashmere Club, so the pattern was available to me free. But I believe if you buy it separately, if you're not part of the, their, their club, which I, I don't know what the membership is. I think it's like $9 a month. Oh, I'm getting low on battery power, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. Um, but I think the pattern is maybe $16. I'm not sure. So anyhow, um, I wrote some notes just down about what I liked about um, my Stanton hoodie or what. Maybe I didn't like about my Stanton hoodie. I don't know. You'll just have to listen to my review to find out. <laughs> now, one thing that I do like about it is that it comes in different cup sizes because um, I made a straight size 16 in an EF cup. And then I also, it also has two sleeve pattern pieces. One is regular and the other has a full bicep adjustment. And I almost always have to do full bicep adjustments to the cashmere patterns. In fact, to almost every pattern that I buy. So I really appreciated that it had the separate sleeve um, so that it saved me the, the extra work of having to adjust a pattern. So I like that. I also like that it comes in a couple of variations and gives you lots of options. So, you you know, if you like it, you can make more than one. So, for instance, I just made the regular one without the zip. And I didn't add the drawstrings on it. For one, because I would have wanted grommets instead of making a buttonhole. And I didn't have any grommets. And I didn't want to order any and wait for them to come. I was ready to make my hoodie. So um, I did it without the drawstrings. And then I thought, you know, the fabric is so pretty with the print. I didn't want the distraction of the strings hanging down anyway. So I was fine with it. But you can make it as like a pullover sweatshirt. Or you can do it as a zip. And they also have an extension pack that you can purchase and make it as a quarter zip or as a dress, like a sweatshirt dress. And then I also like that the pattern pieces come, see these little shoulder pieces? Isn't that cool for color blocking? Um, so you could also, if you wanted to, you could color block the, the kangaroo pockets um, as well as the cuffs and the, the shoulder pieces. So I think it gives you a lot of options to be creative and to make um, a couple of different looks if you want. Um, oh, and one thing, you know, the instructions were very easy to follow. So it was, it's a very, um, a pretty easy make. And then what I found interesting about it is the majority of it is constructed on the sewing machine. They actually advised to not use the serger. And I, I can see that because when it comes to doing the pocket, the way it's made, sometimes you do have like four layers that you have to go through. So most of it is you, you sew it on the sewing machine on a straight stitch, not a zigzag, not a stretch stitch, but a straight stitch. Um, and I have heard that when you are sewing on knits or on stretchy material and you're sewing on the vertical, you don't really have to worry about that zigzag stretch. It's only on the horizontal where, whether the fabric stretches. So anyhow, um, I did find that that was interesting, the construction of it. So, um, yeah, I give it two thumbs up. I think I will make another one. I might make a zip one. And again, I'm planning on making one for my daughter. Um, um, and then I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the See You at Six French Terry that I got. Um, I got it from Style Maker. Um, I think it was the first time I ordered from them, and I was actually very happy with the experience ordering online. It arrived. I got an email stating that they received my order. I got an email that it shipped, and then it arrived pretty timely. This is their, what is it? Their See You at Six Wild Rose Outline French Terry in Forest. And they're actually, I checked on the website, they're actually sold out of this. I don't know if they'll be getting more in, but I went ahead and got this and then the matching solid um, rib in the forest colorway as well. It is a uh, cotton spandex, 56 inches wide, and then um, has a 50% stretch. And then one thing that I thought was interesting, what I wanted to do is, Every Christmas, I buy my husband a zip hoodie. 
I think I might make him one though. Um, last year I bought him one for Christmas. It was a champion, the brand champion, and it was just a regular zip hoodie. And I think I ordered it on Amazon. Well, I know I ordered it on Amazon and I think the price was $72. Yeah, around there, $72. And it was a good quality. It is a good quality, um, hoodie. Um, I think it is though hundred percent cotton. I don't believe there's any stretch in it. It's just your gray sweatshirt material. I do not know about the manufacturing processes of champions. So I don't know if they're made overseas, if they're made with exploited, um, labor or not. That's something I guess I should look into, but, um, yeah, then I thought I would look at what it would cost, what it cost me to make mine. And as this was actually really expensive French Terry, um, I didn't realize it until I went online to check the price. It's one of their more expensive ones. It was $24.99 a yard for my size, which is size, excuse me, a size 16 and an EF cup. Um, they say one and seven eighths yard. I probably ordered two. So I'm going to go with two yards at $24.99. That comes to $49.98. I use a spool of thread of which I still have some left over. So, our, you know, I bought a spool of thread and I can use that later. The rib knit, the, the instructions say to buy half a yard, but I want to show you how much I have left over. Okay, so here's my half yard. And this obviously was the cuffs where I have this. And then probably down here, I think, was where there, the band was to go around the waist. So I don't think I really... Maybe I ordered a yard. I don't know, but I obviously didn't need a half yard um, of French Terry. So the French Terry was um, to, to, to $22.99. And so I just sort of halved that because, you know, I, 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 I don't need that much, you know, um, or well, no, I, I went ahead to $22.99 a yard, went ahead and added in the half yard, which would be $11.89. So I add that all up, um, without tax and delivery, it came to 80, 86, $80 and 86 cents for me to make this. And so it is a little bit more expensive than, um, ordering one from champion. And yes, I know you can probably get them a lot more cheaper at Walmart or at target, but I'm just wondering, do you get the quality? Because I have to say, I had heard good things about the CU at Six French Terry, and I am, I'm really impressed with it. It's warm, it's soft. Um, I get these pretty rose pattern here that I don't know that I could get at Walmart or Target or the mall or whatever. Um, and then I get the satisfaction of making my own, um, my own my own clothes. And then another thing, this is something I want to ex, um, explore further. And I plan on doing a video once I actually get up to speed and learn about this. This material is OE Tech, OE, OE Tech Standard 100 Certified. And what that means is that it has been tested for harmful substances that could um, affect our health. Um, apparently this, it's Oecotex, O-E-K-O-T-E-X is a separate company that is available to, um, other companies in textiles and leather industries where they offer certifications, where they rigorously test against, um, a list of up to 350, um, toxic chemicals and everything from the fabric to the thread, the, the whole process, um, and they offer different kinds of um, certifications too. There is the 100 standard, which this French Terry is, which is, I guess, chemicals that might affect humans. They also have a green certification. There's leather certifications, um, various others. So I actually want to um, learn more about it. And I believe that they are standardized, um, standardized tests. So it's not like, you know, it's not like, 
CUX6 said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and create this certification, and they're certifying themselves as a separate company. And I don't mean to go way off topic, but it does, you know, I think that that's important that we as sewists should know where our fabric is coming from, how it's made, what it's doing to the environment. Um, so once I find out more about this company, I want to do a deep dive into it, and I'll, I'll explain to you what it means. But that's another topic for another day. But anyhow, um, all in all, I do love my cashmere statin hoodie. I do plan on making another one. I think the zip. I did buy some solid in the forest, um, forest colorway to make one for my daughter because she really likes hoodies. And so, yeah, um, Love the French Terry, love the hoodie. So I hope you guys are all doing well, and I would really appreciate it if you found this video interesting or helpful to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification button. And please leave some comments um, um, below because I love talking to you guys. And before I forget, if you have still hung on, okay, it's only 10 minutes or 11 minutes in. Sewing circle, yes, okay, we had a little bit of... I had got a little bit had to had something happen, but now we're it's we're through it, and I'm bringing back sewing circles. So the next sewing circle is this Saturday, November twelfth at eight a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to join the Zoom sewing circle where we talk about sewing and fabrics and and everything you know related to that. Send me an email to polysews22 at gmail.com. I will send you an email back with a link to the Zoom meeting. And then we all log on, excuse me, we all log in at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday, November 22nd. And we just have a really good old chat about, as I said, sewing and fabrics and, and patterns and whatever we want to talk about. Um, so... Yeah, I had another thought, but it escapes me, so it must not have been that important. So um, I will go ahead and see you on the next video. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Bye.